Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Halloween haul. <laughs> Halloween is getting really close and I'm super excited. I celebrated Halloween this past weekend and I dressed up as Samara from The Ring, so that was a really fun costume. It was definitely fun to scare people with it. For actual Halloween, I will be handing out candy to trick-or-treaters and I'll probably be watching some scary movies. Since it's on a Wednesday, I won't be going out and partying on a Wednesday because I do work Monday to Friday, so I'll most likely just be watching movies. So I picked up some more Halloween stuff since my last haul, so I thought I would show you guys the new Halloween things I picked up in the past few weeks. I went shopping in the States. I really wanted to go back to Target because the last time I went it was the beginning of September and they didn't have a whole lot of their Halloween stuff out yet so I was able to go back and I picked up a few things and I'll start with the clothes. So when I went to Target back in September they did have this shirt but I was too cheap to pay full price so this time I was like I don't care I'm gonna get it because I really want it and they actually had 20% off which isn't a huge discount but it was better than nothing. So I got this jack-o'-lantern shirt. I think it's called a sweater on their website but it's really thin. It's basically like a long sleeve t-shirt. And this is by the brand Modern Lux. So this shirt was originally around $20, so with the 20% off I paid $16. The next shirt I got is this pumpkin shirt. So it's just a gray shirt with pumpkins all over it, and it's also on the back. And this shirt is by the brand Fifth Sun. I think this shirt was around $13 and then I got the 20% off. And both shirts are size extra small. The next thing I picked up from Target is this Pyrex container. They had two different ones but I really like this one because it has like haunted houses on there, it has some gravestones, some cats, and I love the things that are in the window. So in the one window there's like someone with a knife, like a headless woman, a crow, in a chair, and there's a witch, a headless person holding a skull, so there's all kinds of things, and I love the gravestones too. I can't remember what was on the other one, but I like this one because it was black and green. I think this was around six dollars. While I was in the States I went to TJ Maxx and I picked up another Pyrex container there. So this one has an orange lid and it just has a bunch of jack-o'-lanterns around it. It's definitely hard to see this so I'll probably insert a close-up somewhere in here. So yeah, it's basically just a bunch of different jack-o'-lantern faces. And this one was only $3.99 so it was a couple dollars cheaper than the other one. But I'm glad I got both because now I have one with a black lid and one with an orange lid so they're very Halloween-y. And I'll definitely be using these all year. I love Halloween stuff that is actually useful household stuff because then I can actually get some use out of it instead of just like decorations which I also love but this way I can kind of more so justify buying things. The next couple things I picked up from Winners which is like our Canadian version of TJ Maxx. So the first thing is these kitchen towels and I had to buy these right away when I saw them. I love vintage Halloween stuff so I just loved this towel so much. So this is the first towel it came with and then for some reason this one's like on the back. It says scaredy cats and flying bats. And once again we have a vintage looking cat and bat on there. And these were $7.99. The next thing I picked up at Winners is, is this framed picture. So it just has a witch's hat and it says happy Halloween. And then it has like plastic or glass on the front of it. I thought this was really cute and simple and this is definitely going to stay up all year too. I don't care that it says Happy Halloween because basically in my house it's Halloween every day anyways so that definitely doesn't bother me. And this is by the brand Punch Studio and I paid $9.99 for this. And I just have one thing from Michaels and it is this pad of paper so it's all like spooky Halloween-y paper. Um, it's called Moonlit Manor and basically just has a bunch of different 
Halloween-y paper in here, so I'll show you some of them. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with this paper, but I'm sure I will find some use for it, either that or it'll sit in my drawer for years, but either way, definitely love this spooky paper. The next thing I'm going to show you guys is this huge skull mug. I got this at the LCBO, which is our liquor store here in Ontario, Canada, and it came with six beers, so it's um, Bone Shaker IPA, and so it came with four of those, and then this skull mug. I think it was around 21 or $22 for them, so I think that's a pretty good price for four beers and then this awesome mug. And it's literally like as big as my head. It is so big. So if I ever want a huge drink, this is the glass I'm gonna go for, for sure. And obviously I had to get it because I love skulls and I kind of have a skull glass collection going. Like I have a bunch of different kinds of skull glasses and things, so this will definitely go well with that collection. I picked up this next thing at Value Village and it is this jack-o'-lantern light thing. So it has a bunch of little lights on it and then you just plug it in and it lights up. So this is what it looks like. I don't have an extension cord with me right now so I'll probably include a picture somewhere with it lit up. There is one light on there that isn't working. Um, but I feel like you can't really tell unless you're really looking. I didn't even notice it at first, but um, I'm sure I could probably find another orange bulb somewhere and just change it out. And this was only $1.99. And I actually just picked up this next thing today, and this is from Home Depot. It's one of these projectors, so it projects ghosts onto your house. So I'm really excited to put this up, and I think it'll be fun when all the trick-or-treaters come. And I've never looked into these before because I always thought that they'd be super expensive, but it was actually on clearance for $10.99. I think it was originally like $27, which isn't too bad either, but for $11 I just had to get this. So I can't wait to put this up. I think it's going to look really awesome. And the very last thing in my haul was actually a gift from my sister and it's from the Rocky Mountain Soap Company. So this is a soap store here in Canada. So it is this Halloween themed soap. It's called Zombie Repellent and it is black and red swirled. And there's some cat hair on there. But this is what it looks like and it smells like licorice but it is made out of fennel, star, anise, and fair trade organic shea butter. And I love the smell of licorice, so I definitely love the smell of this soap. And I love that it's called zombie repellent. I think that's hilarious. So that is everything for my Halloween haul. Let me know what your favorite thing was in my haul in the comments down below. And make sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one.